when changing your WordPress theme, there's a high risk of breaking your site or losing important data. Things to do before changing your WordPress theme. Backup your website. Do not rely on web host backups. I'll also add a link above to the comparison between the top three backup plugins in the market. Number two, copy all custom CSS on your website so you can add them to the new theme later. Number three, check the current load times of your site. You want your newer theme to load faster than the current one. Number four, note down all active analytics integrations because tracking pixels and analytic code snippets are are usually inserted into the header file of the active theme so they may not carry over to the new theme. How to change WordPress theme without breaking your site? Number one, using live preview in WP admin, you can change the WordPress theme, but we don't recommend this method because although the live preview helps you see how a new theme will affect your site, it's actually quite limited in scope. For example, it does not help catch any future code conflicts. However, if you still want to use this method, you need to follow the following steps. Number one, enable maintenance mode before making any changes to minimize disruption to visitors. You can do this by installing a dedicated plugin, WP Maintenance Mode. Number two, go into Appearance and then Themes on WP Admin. Number three, click on Add New. Number four, select the theme you like and click on Install. Number five, hover over the installed theme to see the options and click on Live Preview. The theme loads on your live site content, which you can play around with a little to see how everything works. Number six, once you are satisfied, click on Activate and Publish to complete it. Number two, use a staging site. You can make changes on this replica site and observe the effects or errors. I recommend using our in-house product blog all for this. You can take a bulletproof backup with a click and then launch a staging site with another click. When you're done with testing changes, you can automatically merge changes from a staging site to a live site. I'll quickly show you how easy it is to use Blog Vault. Number one, create a Blog Vault account and wait for your site to sync. Number two, once the site syncs, go into the site details page on the Blog Vault dashboard. Number three, click on add staging. Number four, select which backup to use to create site. By default, the latest backup is selected. If you have a new Blog Vault account, then the first sync is used to create the staging site. Number five, once the site is created, copy the credentials to visit your site. To log into the staging site, use the same WP admin login details as your live website. Number six, update the theme as you would on your live site and check it thoroughly. Number seven, once you are satisfied with the update and finished troubleshooting, you are ready to make the change live on your site. Go back to the Blog World dashboard and merge the changes. Number eight, Blog World creates a comparison of both the files and the database between the two sites for review. You can select which changes you want to keep and which to disregard from here. Click on next. Number nine, enter your FTP credentials and complete the merge. Your live site will be updated with changes that are tested on a replica site. So there is no danger of losing content or breaking the site. Number three, use a dedicated theme changer plugin. You can use theme switcher, which is a theme switcher plugin to test drive your themes on your site's front end, but your visitors will not see this. They will only see your older active theme. So this plugin is also a decent alternative to using staging. Personally, the only drawback I see is that I have to install and use a different plugin for a theme change. Where Whereas with Blog Vault, I can take backups, host a staging site, update changes to a live site, and also do a bunch of other things from a single dashboard. With that being said, here are five easy steps to use Theme Switcher. Number one, install and activate the plugin from the plugin dashboard. Number two, from the plugin dashboard, go into Theme Switcher setting and check Enable Theme Switching. Number three, once you've saved changes, you can see the installed themes on the same page under the heading Available Themes. Number four, click on any of the themes to see a full functioning preview of your website in the new theme. Number five, once you see how the new theme will look, you can change your WordPress theme from the Themes dashboard. Is the correct page showing up as the home page? Some themes have dedicated home pages that exist outside of the WordPress page hierarchy. So you need to show which one is the correct one. If the old theme had a custom home page, it will be saved in page drafts and the new theme's default home page will appear instead. You may need to recreate menus if they have disappeared. Check each of the links to see if they work as expected. Each theme supports different widget locations. So are widgets appearing where they should? Posts, comments, sections, images, pages, forms, and any other visible elements all also need to be checked for inconsistency. Any change to your website has the potential to break it. That is just how code works. Check WP admin notifications for errors and resolve any compatibility issues. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out.